your desires, which your soul has already aligned, your soul is the one that's giving you these uh, impulses, right? Your soul's aligned with your desires, but to the, to the degree that you are not. Your desires, which your soul has already aligned, your soul is the one that's giving you these uh, impulses, right? Your soul's aligned with your desires, but to the, to the degree that you are not through your belief systems and then therefore how you perceive things and the actions you do or don't take, that degree of separation between how your, where your desires are, where your soul is resonating and where you are is different and so the process of manifestation is closing that gap but they'll recognize that there will always be a gap because you're constantly expanding and you're always having new desires that are going to be expanding you outside of what you currently are experiencing so recognize first and foremost that the gap is a normal thing you're never going to be completely able to get rid of the gap and that's a good thing because life would be really boring if there was no gap and just you thought of something and boom it was there you thought of something and boom it was there you thought of something and boom it was there you actually are here for the journey and for the creation of it okay so you actually want the experience of becoming so you have to start to enjoy this process of becoming recognizing that there is this gap and that the degree of frustration, overwhelm, burnout, um, resistance is equal to the degree that you are not lined up with the desires that your soul is already in line with and has already given you the impulse of that you've received. So you have desires which are way up here, but you're still here with your belief systems. And as you close that gap with what you believe to be true for yourself and you come into alignment, it's actually like... I didn't mean to move this hand. This stays here, right? Your desires aren't going to come down to meet you. This is called settling. Um, if you try to get your desires to come down to meet you where you're at, this is where you compromise your life experience. You don't want to lower your desires to come into alignment with where you're currently vibrating. That's, the, that's not going to yield you the results that you're looking for. So your desires, your ultimate desires, and even then you're just lying to yourself because your desires are still here. You're just living a complacent life now and you're dismissing your dreams and your desires. And um, life really sucks at this point, in my opinion, because you are numb or complacent or um, you always have this overhanging desire, which is really still up here. And you're either consciously or unconsciously lowering your desire to match your current state. Not a good situation to be in if you want to expand and, and achieve your dream life and your dream business and and experience everything that life everything that there is to experience in life which i believe is part of why we came here we have we are magnificent manifestors you have to recognize that the resistance that you're offering is the separation from where you're currently at because you're more focused in your reality than you are on the actual desire and it's not like i'm you don't you don't strive for your desire. You don't, you know, try to achieve your desire because that's struggle as well. What you do is simply come more into alignment with your desire based on the beliefs that you hold, the stories that you tell, the way you perceive, the resistance that you're that you're experiencing here because you're going to always have resistance as soon as you get here there's going to be another expansion you're already planting seeds for more expansion you're already planting seeds for more expansions and isn't that an amazing concept because now you know this is just what the world just becomes as you get better and better at this you know that the world is your playground like this 3d reality is just your playground for you to be this excellent manifester and you get to play in whatever reality that you want and you get to manifest whatever reality that you want and it's fun to play a bigger game. It's fun to expand outside of your comfort zone. It's fun to expand more than you ever thought possible. It's fun to experience things that you thought five years ago were a pipe dream and then now it's your reality, right? Like this is fun. This is fun to be a creator. So recognize that you're always gonna have 
some resistance between where you're at and where you're going because your desires are constantly sprouting up within you, right? Being attached to your desire is where a lot of the um, struggle and resistance plays into. If you're attached to having this desire first, in order for you to feel fulfilled, you are in for a long bumpy road because that's not the way it works. You have to raise your frequency and raise your belief systems and raise your perceptions and raise your consciousness level and your awareness level and what you focus on and bring it up to where your desires are vibrating. The, you know, And if you are holding yourself in the state of, well, I'm not gonna be happy until I'm here. I'm not gonna be happy until I'm here, until I have the business, until I have the money, until I have the soulmate, until I have the, the freedom-based lifestyle, until I can do this or that you're holding you're, you're putting yourself in a holding pattern of struggle and resistance and frustration and eventually what happens is you beat yourself down so much with the resistance that you eventually just let go and say fuck it and drop the oars so to speak this is what esther hicks would say and you stop paddling upstream you stop going against the flow and you just start to allow things and you stop trying to figure it all out from your mental body and from your ego down here and from a fear-based place like well if I don't get this then what does this mean for me if I don't get it if I don't achieve it if I don't have it like what does this mean for me you have to break that cycle by coming into the present moment and focusing so much on where you're at now making peace with where you're at now knowing that this is where you're at now and it's perfect for you accepting that as if you've chosen it in the words of Eckhart Tolle choose the present uh, be in the present moment as if you have chosen it so you can start to release some of that resistance and know that it's exactly where you're at and that's fine because it doesn't matter where you're at no matter how far off your belief systems are no matter how much resistance you have that you're throwing up no matter how much frustration how much pessimism how much whatever even through all of that shit, even without clearing any of that stuff even without doing anything to adjust your belief systems your soul is still calling you forward your soul is still giving you the spiritual breadcrumb to follow even in the midst of all of that chaos and resistance that you find yourself in now but you have to make peace with the present moment as quickly as possible for the sake of your own sanity and for the sake of the fact that you care nothing more about uh, anything other than happiness and joy and being at peace and as soon as you can start to make peace in the present moment what's happening down the road is less important to you right you're detaching from the outcome at this point because it's less important to you because you're already having such a good time in the present moment you're at peace i know i'm in my sweet spot of manifesting when i'm in a state of constant satisfaction or at least for the most part satisfaction like it doesn't matter what's happening a client signs up or doesn't sign up i get an unexpected bill or i don't get an unexpected bill you know things that used to trigger me you know things out of the blue like that um, I in a relationship or not you know a state of satisfaction a feeling of satisfaction because I'm at peace in the present moment which automatically detaches you from the outcome so you don't have that neediness energy because if you have a lot of resistance and you're in that neediness energy just thinking that all you got to do is get here and then everything's gonna be okay you're fighting an uphill battle, right? It's not about getting there first in order to feel okay. It's about creating that space of okayness and being in the flow and being in the process, recognizing that life is a process and that you're always gonna be becoming and there's always gonna be a next step. If you get so over infatuated with the reality that you're in now and think that, and then you just play off of the reality that you're in now, you're gonna be focused more on what is instead of what is possible. And so it's okay to dream and desire and vision and all of these things for your for where you wanna go, but you have to recognize if you're throwing up a lot of resistance and if you're throwing up a lot of um, uh, mixed signals with the universe um, and just splitting your energy. The quickest way you're gonna be able to start to rise into alignment with that is to start to come into the present moment and feel more at peace with where you're at and recognize that this is a process and you're exactly where you need to be so you can sort of diffuse the energy around you take some deep breaths get into your body spend some time in nature do something that brings you more makes you more present you know commit 
more to your meditation practice go within right yeah you can go work on belief systems you can go do hypnosis you can go do tapping there's all these other great tools for you as well but at the end of the day even in the midst of not doing any of those things and I can say I've done, I, I do all of these things and they've all helped along my journey for certain little phases of it, right? But even in the midst of all of that, your soul is still speaking to you and calling you forward. And if you can just release the resistance enough to become aware of how your soul is calling you and move in that direction without having to put so much pressure on this end result and just start to move in that direction, start to align your beliefs with that's possible, start to perceive differently, you'll automatically move more and more into alignment with it until you have, until the universe has no choice but to show it to you. It's universal law, it's not an, a when, it's not an if, it's a when. So I just wanted to share this with you today. Um, I hope this resonates. If you liked it, please leave me a question or comment below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And if you're ready to build your soul aligned uh, business, six figure and beyond model that really leverages your freedom, your time, helps you make an exponential impact and gives you that freedom based lifestyle on the back end so you can be completely supported in your mission work and not depleted, um, then Check out the Soul Align Success Masterclass below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it, or you can access it over on my Instagram profile at Spiritual CEO. And if that masterclass resonates with you, then you'll have a special invite to hop on a strategy session with me. And until then, I look forward to tuning with you, in with you in another episode very, very soon. Namaste.